Hello everyone, we are on week 16. It's a B week of our CSA shares. Um, I'm gonna go over all of the items we received in our shares this week. If you pick up um, on B weeks, this would be your week if you're a half share. And I'll talk about storage and how to use each item. A lot of the items we've seen before, so it'll be repeat, but um, maybe I'll think of some new ideas. One quick announcement. The farm needs our help, so on Saturday from 9 to noon, if you are available and free and can help weed, pick um, some squash, things like that that our farmers are needing our help with. Um, all you need to do is show up to the farm and um, make sure you have shoes, hat, water, that kind of stuff to help the farmers out. All right, so we'll jump right into what we received this week. We have basil. So our basil goes in a bottle or a glass of water on the counter. So we do not want to put this in the fridge. Basil can be used for pestos, for vinaigrettes. I love taking a handful and throwing it right into a vinaigrette and blending it up. Um, caprese salad. Um, you can puree the basil if you're so i still have my whole bunch from last week i'm gonna puree some and freeze it into ice ice cube um trays and then i'll have fresh basil throughout the season um throughout the winter so that's an option as well so basil on the counter we have spaghetti squash so spaghetti squash is probably the last item we want to use this week unless you have a recipe that you um want to jump in and use but this is gonna last about three to four months. So we wanna store it in a cool, dry place. You can actually cook it whole. You can slice it in half, de-seed it, and cook it that way. Or if you go um, to the blog, I have a recipe where I cut it into rounds, remove the seeds, um, and then use garlic and herbs to season it. So spaghetti, spaghetti squash is a um, good replacement for pasta. So it can be used just like a pasta, so with a hot red sauce, with our pestos. Um, you can also use it once it's cooked and you shred it. You can use it cold, so it doesn't have to be served warm. Um, we love it just cooked with the garlic and herbs as a side, so that's a great option as well. Stored in a cool, dry place. So we received a lot of peppers. We have our cubanelle peppers and our sweet peppers, which are either orange or red. These get stored in the fridge. Both can be eaten raw or cooked. They can be grilled, they can be sauteed. Um, you can put them on sheet pan meals, you can put them on skewers and grill them, um, or you can just saute them as well. Um, great for fajitas. We have a lot of stuff that would work well in salsas. So these would go in salsas as well. Um, these would be great toppings if you didn't make the pizza from last week, the grilled pizza. We love peppers and onions as a topping. So that's an option as well. So those get stored in the fridge along with our hot peppers. So you could pick four hot peppers. Um, this is jalapeno and a poblano, but there were cherry bombs. I think there were long hots, serranos. I don't know all the names of all of them. But Trisha did a post about the hot peppers and their heat indexes. Um, basically, we're using hot peppers for heat, for spice. You can put them in chilies. You can um, serve them raw. They can be stuffed. Jalapeno poppers. Um, they would both make great, um, or any of them would make great toppings for the pizza as well. You can use them for spice in the hot pepper honey. Um, you can pickle them. So these get stored just like the other peppers. So in the fridge, in your crisper drawer if you have room. Um, if you don't want as much heat for any of our hot peppers, when you take the top off and cut them in half, remove the membranes and the seeds and you'll get less heat. So most of our heat comes from the seeds and the, the memories on the inside. Um, they'll still be spicy, but you'll you'll reduce the spiciness of them. And we did a whole I did a whole post on Saturday about people's 
favorite hot peppers. It was a variety depending on um, who commented. So we had lots of ideas for how to use them, what people like using them in. Um, so refer to that if you're getting overwhelmed with the hot peppers. Depending on what um, you got in your share, we either have kale or Swiss chard. Um, both get stored in the fridge. Ideally, I like to take off the rubber bands and then put them in a Debbie Meyer green bag or a plastic bag. Um, the Debbie Meyer green bags will help them last a little bit longer. Kale can be eaten raw. Um, I love it as a salad. Um, you can do a massage kale salad. You can do, there's, I believe there's a kale Caesar salad on the blog. You can put that, um, look that up as well. It can be made into kale chips. Um, you can saute it. There's kale pesto on the blog. I know I did a kale pesto this, this season. So those are all options for our kale. Our Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard with eggs. So, um, but you can just do it as a side, so chop it up. Um, it would saute really well with the garlic and the onions that we got this week. Um, you can blanch it, you can use it as wraps. So if you do a quick blanch or just use it as a raw wrap actually, um, you can use it that way. So depending on what you got, um, there are options there, but both get stored in the fridge in a plastic bag, preferably a Debbie, Debbie Meyer green bag if you have that, if you have those. We got to pick shishitos again this week. Um, the recipe for this week will focus on these shishitos because we've gotten them several weeks in a row. I actually still have, have mine from last week, so I'm going to do a recipe with these. Stay tuned for that on Thursday. The shishitos can be a variety of colors. Um, earlier in the season, we saw them mostly as green, and then throughout the season, we've seen them start to change. So I have a variety in here where they're kind of a mix here, and then I also have bright red ones. The color does not affect the flavor. Um, it also does not affect the spice. So one in 10 of the shishitos tends to be a little bit spicier. Um, and Trisha did mention that they use different, a different variety this year and they tend to be a little bit on the spicier side. So we got mild ones in years past and we did get a few um, spicier ones this year. So we did notice a little bit more spice as well, but these are delicious. They're delicious, just blistered. Um, they're stored in the fridge. I leave them right in this container. If you don't have them in a, a plastic container, you can put them in a plastic bag, um, but they'll last a little bit longer. So we wanna use like our Swiss chard, our kale, and our lettuces first this week. Um, our spaghetti squash we can hold off on. Shishitos, you can, they'll, they'll last over the week as well. So you can hold off on those. Um, what else was I gonna say about these? Oh, they're great blistered. Um, you can put them in a dish, you can use them as a side, or you can serve them. A lot of people are using them as appetizers. So you can just blister them or roast them um, and then serve them with a little sea salt. Lime does cut the spice. So if you drizzle some lime juice or um, squeeze a lime over top of it, it will help with the spice if you've got really spicy ones. Okay, a few more items. We have, I got um, the bagged lettuce, so the half a pound of salad greens. This is gonna stay right in this bag. This is the item I'm going to want to use first. So if you got your bagged lettuce, use that within the next few days. That's the most um, important to use right away. There's also an option of a head lettuce, so depending on what your share contains, the head lettuce is gonna go into a plastic bag in the fridge. Um, our lettuces are generally used for salads. The head lettuce can be used in wraps, on burgers, um, in tacos. Same thing with these. Um, you could chop this up and use it in tacos or on um, like a chopped salad and things like that. We are receiving the last of our corn this week. So I'm pretty sure this is the last week. We get six ears. We want to store this in the, the husks if possible. Try to use it within the next few days. Its sweetness will be best within the next few days. Over the course of the week, 
the sweetness begins to shift towards starchier. So um, we do wanna use it generally within the next few days. You can soak these in water, like just like they are, and put it right on the grill with the husks on, cook it just like that. You can peel them and husk them, you can boil them, you can um, put them on the grill if you want. Like the, I like the, to get the char of the grill on the actual ears of corn, so I husk them before. There's, I know there's a corn salsa on the blog. There's been a bunch of mention of corn chowders. Um, there was like a seafood boil that someone just recently did that was really good using corn, so lots of options there. If you're not going to use this this week, you can husk it, um, rinse it off, and take the ears off the corn, um, or take the corn off the ears, sorry, and freeze it. So I have some frozen from last week because I didn't get a chance to use it. So that's an option as well. We have about two pounds of beef, red beef steak tomatoes. These get stored on the counter, so we don't wanna put these in the fridge. These are great slicing tomatoes, so sliced in a caprese salad, sliced on sandwiches, on burgers. Um, if you're not going to use them fresh, you can chop them up and make a sauce. You can chop them up and make a salsa. We have lots and lots of ingredients for salsas or pico de gallos um, this week, so those are options as well. We have red onions. So you got two to three red onions. These are cured, so cool, dry place. Um, these can be eaten raw or they can be sauteed, roasted, grilled, um, added to sheet pan meals. Um, I like them thinly sliced on salads. They're also great for burgers, so the, there's a lot of good burger options here if you wanna add um, things to burgers. I think at one point someone posted a tomato bun as an option for a burger. So using the tomato as the bun itself rather than using a bun. So that you could do as well. Um, so the onions, cool dry place, do not store them with potatoes because the potatoes give off moisture and will make your onions go bad quicker. We also received a clove of garlic. This is cured, so same idea as the onions, cool, dry place. Um, I pretty much add garlic to anything I can. Garlic enhances, or, or I love the flavor, so I usually double the recipe if I'm using, or double the amount of garlic used in a recipe. The garlic and onion would be great for salsas, pico de gallos, um, sheet pan meal, I might use this in a recipe this week. So I might add it to the shishito, so stay tuned for that. And the last option besides pick your own herbs and the flower bouquet, the last thing we received in our share is the fingerling potatoes. So our fingerling potatoes um, were new this year. We haven't received them before, and I believe this is the last week we'll get them, but you do not need to peel them. They just need to be cleaned. They can be roasted whole. You can half them. Um, you can cook them any other, you know, boil them. But roasted or um, grilled, you could put them in skewers and grill them. Or you can grill them in like a cast iron pan as well. Um, lots of different sizes. So if you are roasting them, try to make them the same size. So like this is a pretty big one, but then I got a small one here. So I might leave this one whole, but then chop this one up so that I have even cooking. You do not need to peel these. Um, when storing them, you want to store them in a plastic or paper bag. So I already put them in the paper bag and I'm going to store them in a cool dry place away from my onions and garlic. So they do tend to give off a little bit of moisture. These, we don't want them to absorb, absorb the moisture, which is why we put um, them in a paper bag. So I actually think that's it for this week. Um, please continue to share recipes. If you have leftover produce from last week, focus on using that first. And then as far as this week goes, we wanna use our Swiss chard, our kale, and our lettuce first. 
Um, then towards the middle of the week, we can use some other ingredients. We can probably save our spaghetti squash for another week, our garlics and our onion for another week if you don't need to use that this week. Um, if you are having trouble using any ingredients, please post on the group and we will help you. Um, if you're getting stuck, don't necessarily love an ingredient or need new options, um, also let us know and we'll guide and help you with different recipes to try. All right, I'll see you guys again next week.